Welcome everybody to Game Sushi. We're picking up where we left off. Now, if you remember in the last episode, I spent far too much time in the hospital trying to find Lily. And there was something about the freezers I couldn't really remember. And when I was editing the footage for the last episode, some memory vaguely stuck out to me um, about the boxes. So let's go to the hospital. Uh, hey, no. need a date? Okay, these people are in my way. Not today. Hey, hey. need a date? Okay, come on. Out of my way. Seriously? Company? Okay. That was a little bit more difficult than I thought, just trying to get into the building. Anyway. So this time what I wanted to try is moving all of the boxes out of the way because last time I kind of moved a box or two, but I didn't really spend the time that I should have. Um, now all I have to do is just remember how to get back to the freezers. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's just, I think it's the, maybe it's the middle one. Okay, I'm gonna make a mess. So whoever the janitor is gonna be for tonight's shift is gonna hate me. Because all these boxes I'm getting rid of. Okay, so there's nothing here. Um, okay, this one doesn't have any boxes to throw around. Let's do this one. Oh, there we go. Okay, I should have done this last time. I was so close and yet so far. So remember on the computer we found that the code for the freezers was 1969. Perfect, okay. Oh, that, that looks like... Hunger. I need it. Yep, this is Lily. Rub it on my tongue, sliding down my throat. The hot flash in my brain lining up my body. I can smell it everywhere. Blood. What happened to you? Who are you? Who are you? Let me go. It's Painful, like I'm going to die. It's calling. Never felt like this before. Let me go. I can smell it. I have to have it. Hold still. I'll let you go. Calm down. Tell me who you are. What's it worth to you? What do you give me for letting you go? Number two. Let me go. All right. Number one. I'll just huh? I'll just let her go. You don't look well at all. Oh, sweet mother of God! The heat. Mm, it's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was euphoric. But I've... I've... killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? Calm down. Tell me who you are. The beast took over. It happens. Number two. Beast? What is that? Why couldn't I stop myself? Why did it feel so right? Calm down, it's all right. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was strapped, trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but I killed a man. I have to get out of here. Who are you? My name is Lily. Lily, you're the one E told me about. E? You know E? I, how do you know E? I said I'd help him. What do you know about Thin Bloods? 
I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A thin blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Go on. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider thin bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a thin blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E. But I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I... I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. You should go see E. He said he forgives you. He wants to see you. Or you should get out of here. The city's bad news. I'll do number one. E doesn't hate me anymore? No, quite the opposite. You should talk to him. I'll go see him. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Wait a sec. I don't do rescues pro bono. What have you got for me? Mm. I wasted so much time last time and I bought that stupid blood pack, so let's just do number two. I don't have anything to give. Next time we meet, you better have some money or I'll tell E goodbye. Well, I mean, if she doesn't have anything, then... Now I kind of feel like a jerk. Why'd you have to go and let that bitch out? There's one less bill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to do in that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. No more! What incident? Nothing happened back there. I was just buying blood. Right. A transaction. Green for red. Interested? Yes, I'd like to make a withdrawal. Oh, okay, and that just takes me to... The store, okay. Alright. Sorry that I didn't read all those different options I could have said. I just saw the one for Dominate and I got a little trigger happy, so then I just... I just kind of sprung on that one. Okay, let me check my quest log because I think that's it for the Lily thing. Okay, looks like we still have to go talk to E to finish it up though, so before we go find Carson, let's go do that. Um, beach. Duh, it's the big sign that says beach access. Don't be a beach. my lily back she told me all about what happened i don't know why you helped us but your blood's worth bottling i'll never let her go again thank you you're welcome me keep her safe no one deserved to be left in that place i did what was right number one we're gonna be getting out of la soon too dangerous here rosa told us something big's about to happen and i don't want to be here when the jack comes out of the box take that for what you will i'll think about that thanks e good luck Jack comes out of the box. I don't like the sound of that. Goodbye, E. If the shit house goes up in flames, it'll probably be my fault. See ya, E. Yeah, let's do number three. Let's talk to Lily real quick. Hi. How did it go with E? 
remember what you did. Give me some money and I won't tell E. Wow, you can be awfully persistent with that option. Uh, the last one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then the last one is, good to see you're okay. Goodbye, Lily. Uh, let's just ask how it went with E. This life's been hard on him. Both of us. But he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there. As long as we're together. Good luck to both of you. Bye, Lily. I, and again, we can pester her for money. You kids stay out of trouble. Bye. Vampires in love. You guys make a great airport paperback. Let's go with number four. Because they do make a great airport paperback. You know, that reminds me of one time I found a book on a bus. Um, I was like 14, maybe 15. I was riding the bus and... Uh, I forget the name of the book, but I remember I liked it. It had to do with um, a species of early man that branched off from like Neanderthals or something like that. They actually survived, um, but they like remained hidden and were biding their time until the day that they could like infiltrate all these different organizations and take over and it was pretty crazy. What is this? You were not strong enough to move this. What is this about? Hey, 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 hold on a minute there. I'm afraid you are committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Didn't you get the call? Open the door, and what if I don't leave? I'm sorry, I'll leave immediately. So the Noir Museum um, that has the paintings in that Jeanette wants us to slash up, I must have gotten too close to that, and this is the security guard. I didn't realize that the Noir um, that the Noir Museum was just on the other side of that wall. Okay. Let's see if we can just use Dominate. Uh, sure. Yeah, I can do that. Right this way. Please. Alright, I don't remember what's inside. Do I have a knife though? Because, yeah, okay, she gave me a knife. Okay, so there's four paintings in here. This one is Cain Spurns Lilith. Cain is said to be the first vampire. Cain cursed by God. Cain meets Lilith. Cain slays Abel. So, oops. Let's uh, equip the knife. Okay, Cain slays Abel. So this is a puzzle. What's the next one? Cain. Cursed by God. Then Cain meets Lilith. And Cain spurns Lilith. I don't remember which one's next. This could hurt really bad if I get this next one wrong. Because I, th okay, so I think Spurned by God is next. Okay, good. And then, obviously, he would have to meet her before he spurns her. Okay, what's happening? Oh, good. This is, um, wonderful. Oh, boy. I'm running. I'm sorry. Oh jeez, this is not gonna go well. Okay, hold on. I 
don't do much damage with melee weapons. I actually do more damage with my fists, so. Okay, let's use, oh, I can't use anything. Hold on, let me um, heal up real quick. Ouch. Ow. You would think I'd just be able to like eat this guy. made of blood. And just because I guess I can't destroy these. I figured up I'm already in here destroying stuff. I might as well, right? Okay, so that takes me out the alleyway. Let's just go out the front. Okay, well that takes care of that quest. I, I wasn't um, planning on doing that that soon. So I guess if you're a strong character, you could have just taken that bar off and then gone in the side without having to deal with the security guard. That security guard has some pretty interesting dialogue. He's pretty funny, so I'm kind of bummed out that you guys missed out on that but uh where was i going okay so we completed that we completed that okay carson Okay, let's just go find Carson, and then we still have to do the Carnival of Death. The Regent's Riddle, we can't do until we get to downtown Los Angeles. Explosive Beginning, that's like one of the last things we do. Okay, let's just look for Carson. Now, the tip for Carson was uh, we found some clues in his apartment. And then there was something about a tattoo parlor and that we should go there and check it out. So let's, let's go there. Might as well. I mean, we're already there. Okay. I can't tell if this is blood on the walls or if this is just a really crappy looking place. It looks like if there's blood on the walls. Okay, I can't grab anything. I mean, would you want to get tattooed in here? When there's blood all over the place? What if this pictures of hands and feet? Cash for modeling, call Gimbal's prosthetics. Okay, we might as well answer the phone here. Hello? Hello, might I speak with Mr. McGee? He doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Can I help you? I don't actually. What sort of appoint appointment was this? No, actually, I'm looking for him myself. Number one. Well, Mr. McGee was going to be doing some modeling for me. Medical reference for the work that I do here in the studio. It's a shame, really. The proposition would have been quite lucrative for him. Really? Maybe I could come down and model for you. Too bad I'm looking for him myself, actually. Let's just do number one. Sounds good. Where are you located? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just 
Ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Sounds good. I'll be there in a little while. Just looking for any other clues. Does this break? No. Okay. All right. I just wanted to zoom in. Oops. I'm so used to games where like right click is the um, button to zoom in. And now I really, really need some blood. As Ventru, I feel like I'm always trying to find somebody that can give me some blood. Oops, criminal violation, I better go hide. So first of all, I wasn't even close enough for a feed attempt. So that was really dumb of me. But I need to find somebody to snack on. Okay, this should do. I'm just gonna see if I can make it two for two. Well, might as well. Uh oh. Masquerade violation. Somebody saw me. And I'm puking blood now. I instantly regret this decision. Alright. So we got a masquerade violation. But that's okay. We'll just run with it. I don't, uh, I don't foresee getting any more. I just needed blood in a pinch, so it is what it is. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need some better perception if I'm gonna specialize in ranged weapons. I think somebody else saw me. So I might have spoken too soon about the no more masquerade violations. Is this guy looking for me? I hope not. I'm just gonna walk past them and see what happens. Can I feed on a police officer? Maybe. We're just rolling the dice all over the place. And now I'm gonna run away. All right, so we're supposed to go to Gimbal's prosthetics. Let's do that. Um, Gimbal's prosthetics is... person. Uh, 
I don't think I've ever seen this NPC before. Huh. I mean, usually it's this guy that represents the homeless person. Weird. Okay. Whatever. Um, while I'm here, let me see if I can ask any clues about a serial killer. Uh, I'm busy here. What'll it be? Are you the health inspector? Uh, yes I am. Let me just get my badge and I'll show you. You know, at least the last health inspector had the decency to make it clear when he was asking for a bribe. Here's 50 bucks. I get to live the dream for another exciting month. Yay. If, I, <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I have other fine establishments to inspect. Okay. So... I don't... I really don't remember how to advance the quest line for the Carnival of Death. I'm hoping that will come to me as we do the other stuff. Alright, so what's next here? Okay, Gimbal's Prosthetics. Go by a shop which is located at the end of the main street in a small basement studio. Main street. Main street. So... Main street's on the other side, I believe. Whoa, lady. Okay, that's right. Yeah, it's around this corner. Here we go. I don't think so, buddy. Oops, I pressed F instead of E. Man, I'm messing up all over the place. I'm on a blood drive. I could use some sunblock. Uh, I don't think so. How do I spoke with you on the phone a little while ago? Thanks. Hello! Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You're here for the modeling job? Good, good. You seem to have rather well-developed limbs, if you don't mind me saying so. Uh, who are you? Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh, dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Nice to meet you, Stan. I'm ready to get started if you are. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Stan. Me? Oh, I'm just trying to make things a little easier for those who find themselves uh, disadvantaged. Giving a helping hand, you might say. A leg up. <laughs> Bloody clever, that one. Wow, you're really funny. Can we get started? <laughs> You seem a disadvantaged yourself. Aha! An eager participant! Very good. Just give me a few moments to get my equipment ready, and then come on in and we'll get started. Okay. Gruesome remains found on pier. Police baffled. Okay, right away, you can get the sense that this is not a normal prosthetics place. Mannequin arms and other parts, $26.50. Whole mannequins on sale, $125. Prosthetic limbs, 
varies per customer. Crash test dummies, $1,450. Amputee, amputees must wait up front. Locked. I don't know if blood buff would make a difference. Nope. It did not. It's in here. Okay. Okay, this looks totally normal and not creepy. Got a video camera set up right here. Clown picture with a post it note that says dad on it. Interesting. Weird mattress on the floor, almost like he keeps people in here. Okay. Ah, drain here in the floor. Next to a bunch of sharp tools and instruments. this way. And uh, what's in this one? Okay, good. That one's circled and says bingo. Interesting. These. Okay. Get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. You don't say. Who, Gimbal? Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Freaking crazy. Okay, now how do I open this door? What are you doing here? Oh, let's uh, do some fortitude, some presents. There we go. This should be easy. He's human after all. I tried to feed on him, but it didn't really work. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was going to make it. I'm telling you. I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. You're Carson, I take it? Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? Arthur Kilpatrick sent me. He did? Oh man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. He's got some work for you, so you should head back to the office. Yeah, what? go back to work. Oh no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. I understand. Well, I'll give him the bad news. See ya. Man, you ain't no fall guy. Later. Man, you ain't no fall guy. Later. I don't understand if that's a reference to something. You hear that dog barking? I think it's Old Yeller. I'm out of here. Uh, let's do number one. Thanks again. Don't worry. I'll take care of Old Stumpy here. Yeah, better come back with the police. And then he said the other guy. Oh. Uh, check that guy out. He doesn't look too good. Nothing? Okay. 
Okay. Interesting that there's nothing else in here. Wow, that's crazy. All right, well, it's a shame that there's one less prosthetics technician, doctor in the world. I'd still like to get into here, but my um, lock picking isn't high enough. Now we can give Therese the pendant, I believe. She should be there, although she'll probably be really mad about what we did to the gallery. Because if you, if you remember, that's what Jeanette told us to do, but it just seemed really suspicious that she tried to, to get me to give her the pendant. I basically said no. She kept asking for it and I kept saying no. And then she seemed okay with it and then asked me to do something completely different. So I'm pretty sure that something completely different was something totally spiteful to get back at her sister. All right, here we go. were you thinking? I... The museum. That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? But... Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture. But nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others. But how dare you? I didn't do it. I swear. Don't lie to me. Jeanette already confessed she tricked you into doing it. It was probably all Tongue's idea. I'll deal with them later. But that's still no excuse for you ruining my museum. I swear I didn't do it. I even brought you the item from the Ocean House here. Excellent. I'll take that. However, Jeanette claimed you did it for her. But let's say I believe you. After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. I imagine you'd still like me to call off the feud. Yes. There's only one problem. If Tongue gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has, it's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. Oh, for crying out loud. How do I do that? For Santa Monica's most powerful kindred, I'd be happy to. Forget it, I've had enough of both of you. Number one. I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her, and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner, to reconcile. But I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. I'll go, then the feud is off. If the Baron of Santa Monica wants her sister back, I will get her sister back. That is such a... It seems like such a brown noser thing to say. Why don't I just kill the crazy bitch so this never happens again? Let's just do number one. I want to see my sister. Yes, I'll call it off once I've spoken with her myself. Just do what I ask. I'll do. It's 
up here. Just some people. Sheesh, is this place always so dead? More so than you think. I thought coming to LA was going to be more exciting than Arizona. I didn't come all this way just for watered down booze. Uh, maybe I'm what you came all the way for. All the way here for. Right. Goodbye. Yeah, it didn't work. Fun, oh, great. I hear a dog freaking out outside. I'll be uh, right back. All right, I'm back. Just had to wait for him to stop, and I think we're good now. Okay, a lot of dudes in here. This is probably going to go bad, so I'm going to get ready to... Get my gun out here. Do I not have that many bullets? Oh, that's good. That's great. Oh, jeez. Let's use presents. Oh, that shot guy. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill the shotgun guy first. Okay, that went a little bit better. And now I have a shotgun. Hello? I'm terribly sorry about that. My sister was just furious about your refusal to take part in her design. So she sent those men to kill you. But I'm going to make sure it never happens again. Drop by. We'll take care of this tongue business. <laughs> She's crazy! Okay. So things are about to get nuts. I'm just going to save it real quick. Literally, things are about to get nuts. <laughs> because they're both nuts. One of them sent those thugs to get me. I'm not convinced it was Jeanette.
deep breath. There we go. You. I'm really sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seemed promising, but you've been tainted by the stink of my sister's schemes. And now, I'm going to make sure she never double-crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram, I swear. Shut up, Jeanette! I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? What's going on here? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean. You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence, or you're dead. So the outcome of this... Um, basically, what you choose will decide the outcome. So I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out which one um which one I I like more. I don't know. I don't remember if there's a way that you can get them to just make peace with each other or if you have to pick one or the other. Mm. Go on, Jeanette. Had his way with you, and he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Night after night? Always the obedient daughter until... Shut up. Just shut up! Mm. Maybe, maybe if I kind of stick up for both of them? That's right, Jeanette. No one wants to hear your lies. I was the good girl. You were the wicked one. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me. Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. Is that true, Jeanette? Sounds like she has a point. That doesn't give you the right to tell her what to do. She's Number a control one. freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Hey, if it wasn't for Jeanette, I'd be on my way to Tongue right now. You're right, Jeanette. Therese tried to have me killed. Well... She probably did. But at the same time, though, if it wasn't for Jeanette, yeah, I would be on my way to Tongue right now because she started the whole thing with the whole pendant. So, number one. As I said, to trust Jeanette is to trust a famished jackal not to eat you while you sleep. Therese will never let you live. You've disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. What happened to your father, Jeanette? What happened to your father, Therese? Hmm... I don't understand which one is favorable to Therese. Because at this point, I think back on that comment that she just said that, yeah, if it wasn't for Jeanette, I'd be 
on my way to tongue already. And that is the truth ultimately, because that started this whole thing. I was going to give the pen to Therese and then I got sent on a different errand. So mm, let's just do number one. Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Therese walked in while he was there and she saw me lying with him and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. But that's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. I don't believe you, Jeanette. I believe both of them. As you shouldn't. I'm afraid, sister. I must write your ending in this family saga. And I want you to know, I do so with great anguish and disappointment. I had such hopes that you'd change for the better with my guidance. But so, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give father? An apology? A love letter. Finish her off, Therese. Give me the gun. Grab the gun, Jeanette. So maybe give me the gun as a way to get them to reconcile with each other. Let's just see what happens. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get the gun. I should turn this on you next, but I won't. Without Jeanette's assistance. Tongue, you, you're no threat. I'll call off the feud if that will get you out of my city. Okay. Tongue's hiding out in an abandoned oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him that one condition of a truce is that he help you. Our business then is finally complete. What you witnessed here. Not a word to anyone. I don't know if anyone would believe me anyway. Goodbye. Do try to stay cautious. I'd hate to see one so promising meet an end because of wayward trust in another. I may have need of someone like you in a few years. If you're still around. I'll remember that. Goodbye, Therese. Well, with that, there's no more Jeanette. I can't like, log in on that computer. What does this one say? I can almost read that. Kitties versus ducklings. Hold on. For my heart. Kitties versus ducklings for my heart. All right. Well, that takes care of that. Can't say I will miss either of them. Let's just witness this dancing one last time. because I am not coming back. Okay, so... Next on our list here is to find Tongue. Um, first, let's give Kilpatrick the bad news about Carson. That he lost his finger and he won't... He won't be able to continue his employment, essentially. Hello, LA. You have way past your bedtime, you? What's shaking? I found Carson. Unfortunately, he's not coming back. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? His trigger finger got cut off by a psychopath. He didn't say why. Can I get paid now? Let's just do number one. Man, that's a tough one. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. 
What's the problem? I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? I don't know. What would I have to do? You haven't paid me for finding Carson yet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Thanks, about that job. Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. So you just want me to find out if he's here or not? Sounds fun, you got a deal. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. What's this guy's record like? Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, he's been in and out for this and that. Small time stuff, mostly. What did he do this time? All right, above the pawn shop, you said? Okay, could you tell me about a few places in town? Um, number one. Most recently, he was brought in as part of a big case on stolen auto parts. It's this big chop shop thing that's going on in Santa Monica. Been in the paper. Okay, so above the pawn shop, right? That's right. Mary Ann Murrieta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell Muddy is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful. You're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? Yes, I hear you. Number two is, yeah, I also have a few questions. What could I sure, possibly pal, ask him? I okay, yeah, nothing. Okay, actually, I'm out of here. Okay. So let's go to the pawn shop. Well, the apartments above the pawn shop, the crappy ones. As he put it. Because tongue is like the last thing to do. I think. So I'd rather leave that for last 100%. Whoa, what is going on over here? Crime scene. Gonna have to ask you to step back, please. What's going on here? Ah, some lunatic broke into the gallery and slashed up the paintings. Everyone's a critic these days, huh? I just hope they catch the guy, uh, person who did this. Bye now. Going the opposite way. I got distracted by all the lights and immediately came this direction without really thinking. Hello, LA. You okay, it was Marietta or something? Yeah, okay, so 507. Key. Hey, Mayor, it's Mike. Look, I gotta head downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. Okay. So this guy isn't around anymore. How many boats do you own, Vigo? Okay, well that was simple enough. Simple, simple. Not my problem. Well, let me see 
see what's going on here with the carnival. Of the okay, so you saw the murder scene on the pier, but weren't able to find out anything significant about the killer, except that the killing was extremely brutal, vicious, and beast-like. Who could I talk to about that? Hmm. Whatever, let's just go see Kilpatrick again and get paid. Hello, LA. You have way past your bedtime, right? Hey there, slick. Hey, I've got some info about Muddy. So, what'd you find out about Muddy? <laughs> he fled someplace downtown. All right, Dan. I'll have to call in some bounty hunters to help me find Muddy and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. You can thank me in American dollars. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Here you are. Thanks. See you around, then. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. I will. Later. Okay, well that's that leads the tongue. Let me see if I can talk to somebody that might know more about these killings. Um, okay, let me check in here because after the incident with all the the people and the big shootout, maybe there's somebody I can talk to. Looks like that one guy came back uh, to life. No. Uh, do you're not supposed to be here. What'll it be? Hmm. Okay. Maybe Mercurio would know. I checked the pier for clues last time. Maybe. Maybe I just need to check the body if I can get to it. I wish I could remember. Yeah, there's no more cars I can open. Okay, so... I want to say it's actually blocked though. Like, I don't think I can just walk up to the body. I wonder if we can sell this guy the steak and the blood. You have any of those items you mentioned? Here's the steak. You have $100? Yeah. Here you go. Uh, now where can I find the head vampire? He's in the tallest building downtown. His name's LaCroix. <laughs> His name's Rodriguez. He's probably downtown. Can't you figure it out? He's the President of the United States. Number three. You won't have to live like this anymore. I'm going to kill the head vampire. Good luck with that. Okay, I have to go up there. Uh, 
Okay, so this is locked. It almost looks like you can open it, but... Thank you for watching this Let's Play of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe. When we pick up next time, we're going to go do the tongue quest line to go to the warehouse. And then um, I'll see if I can figure out the Carnival of Death, if, if that's something that can be done. Or um, hopefully I can figure it out. I could have sworn that's something we can do before we leave Santa Monica. But uh, I don't know for certain. So it'll all work out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.